I often tell people if there's anything anybody's doing in glass art that I haven't experimented with, it's because I haven't heard of it yet. Graph is just a kiln with a hole in the floor and we just fill it full of chunks of scrap glass we put it inside the kiln over the hole and we heat it and melt it and the glass pours out and streams out through the hole in the bottom and it makes all kinds of fascinating interesting shapes. Homing. That's where we take strips of glass, we lay them out in the kiln shelf, we heat the kiln up to 1700 degrees Fahrenheit to where the glass is fully molten, and that's about the temperature that glass blowers are working at when they're blowing a big bubble. The glass is soft, it's about as soft as putty. So in the case of the combing, when the glass is all nice and soft, we reach in with a prong, kind of like a great big barbecue fork, and we stick it into the glass and we pull it and we stretch it. We comb out the glass and create chevron shapes. So all of it is done because when the glass is heated up, it gets soft. It's one of those things that you, you can't hesitate. You haven't got a lot of time, very small window. And the same with the glass blower. When you watch glass blowing, it's got a very small time when the glass is at the right consistency. It's soft enough to be manipulated. Uh, but not hard enough that it uh, risks cooling enough to crack. Nice perfect speed, nice perfect consistency. The um, green plastic shields uh, filter out the ultraviolet, or, or pardon me, the uh, infrared light. So when you're looking at it with the human eye, what you really see is various tints of bright orange and not only is there a glare from the bright hot glowing glass but the infrared that's in that is distorting the colors and the shape it makes it blurry you always see it very very blurry so with the lens on it makes it crisper clear it, it almost as if you um, had dirty glasses and clean them off and now they're nice crisp and clean so that allows them to get a clear focus when you see the bare glass, you could barely see that there were stripes or strips of glass, a slight, very slight color variation. But when you put the glass on, the, you know, the lenses, the protective eye lens, then you can see the different stripes and you can actually see a crisper image of where you're working. 